Benign paroxysmal positional vertigo is characterized by sudden brief episodes of vertigo precipitated by specific head movements. The diagnosis can be established with a dix hall pike maneuver for the posterior and anterior canals or supine roll test for the horizontal canal. Most cases are idiopathic in origin and probably result from degeneration of the macula in utricle. Utricular macula of inner area is the region that receives the utricular filaments of the vestibulocochlear nerve. In the right side image, you can see autoconia. They are dislodged when macular degeneration occurs. Autoconia are also known as autoliths or canaliths. When they are dislodged, they settle within the endoleaf of the semicircular canals. When the head remains static, there is no stimulus causing the hair cells to fire. With motion, however, the displaced autoconia shift within the fluid and the subsequent stimulus is unbalanced with respect to the opposite ear, inappropriately causing symptoms of dizziness, spinning and or swaying. Hence, symptoms are profound with movement but classically lessen with rest. The Dix Hall Pike test is a diagnostic maneuver that can be performed quickly and easily to evaluate for benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. It is based on the anatomical properties of the inner air, which predispose displaced autoconia to settle in the posterior semicircular canal. Excitation of the posterior canal results in upbeating and torsional nystagmus which indicates a positive Dix Hallpike test. Theoretically, autoconia may settle in the superior or lateral semicircular canals, leading to a negative test, though with a sensitivity of 79% and specificity of 75%, this maneuver does have clinical utility. The Dix Hallpike helps localize the affected air by exacerbating both symptoms and clinical signs such as nystagmus. These images demonstrate how to do the Dix Hall Pike maneuver with the right air. The patient is at first seated with the head rotated at 45 degrees. Then the patient is quickly lowered into supine position with neck extended below the level of the table. With head extended, examiner observes the patient for nystagmus.